Legendary design house Pininfarina is responsible for some of the most beautiful cars ever made. We've already seen some of the greatest hits from its past and tested the Maserati MC Stradale. But what about the future? Fabio Filippini, Pininfarina's fabled design director, agreed to give us an exclusive look at the latest concept car, a one-off prototype costing millions that will influence the next generation of car design. Okay. Okay. Let's see now the object. Oh, wow. Oh, gosh. This is the Cambiano. And the first thing that strikes you is that the cars of the future are going to have very simple shapes. Nowadays, there is, I might say, a little bit of a ten tendency to over-design the cars just to give character. And in this case, we did exactly the opposite. We said to give character, we have to take it to its pure essence. That means even getting rid of messy items like the rear lamp clusters and simply illuminating the bodywork instead. So it's an extreme act of uh, search of purity. Now, usually all of the design process happens behind closed doors in total secrecy, but we have been given special access to the whole of Pininfarina's HQ to discover exactly how you go about making something like the Cambiano. The first of seven steps to designing a new car is to find some inspiration. And we define it by taking some very symbolic pictures. The team here looked at everything from watch design to what seemed to be a fridge freezer in a forest. Step two is sketching, organically interpreting those influences into a car shape. It is to have this kind of monolithic shape suspended from the ground that gives to the car lightness and also emphasize the, the length. After three months of sketching, step three is turning the drawings into computer models, which lets you finely tune the design prior to construction. You never get a feel for how a car's shape will work until you see it in the flesh. So step four sees a machine sculpt a three-quarter size version of the car out of an unusual material. Now, at a glance, this looks like the finished article, but if you take a closer look, you can see that it's been cut from a big piece of polystyrene. Once the design has been signed off, it's sent to the wind tunnel. This is one of the most advanced aerodynamic and aeroacoustic research facilities in the world. As well as cars and motorbikes, the Olympic torch and golf clubs have been tested here. Winds can blow at 161 miles an hour. 13 fans simulate the effects of airflow as you drive along the road. 66 microphones on the wall and a further 78 on the ceiling measure external noises, allowing Pin in Farina to find out how loud the car will be when driven at speed. A man with a stick and some smoke allows the team to visualise the flow field. A slippery design isn't just quicker, but it's more fuel efficient too. Step six is to choose your building materials. The Cambiano team have just won a prestigious award for interior design of the year, and it's easy to see why. And so we look for some uh, very emotional material. We found it with this. It comes from the poles that are in the Laguna of Venice. And we thought it has a soul, it has a, um, emotion, yeah. it has life. Step seven is bringing everything together in a full-size show car, including high-tech flourishes like next-generation touchscreen controls and even a video art installation in the roof for passengers. It's a very highly sophisticated car and uh, it's uh, maybe the most advanced, uh, realistic car you could find now. So what are the chances of seeing this car on the road? Maybe this car as it is, uh, not many today, but a lot of the technical design and creativity expressed on this car 
we will certainly see it on future projects for Pininfarina, from Pininfarina. Remember that big sellers like the Porsche Boxster and Audi TT also started out as concept cars. So what we're looking at here needs to be taken very seriously indeed. It's eight months work by 20 people and an intriguing first glimpse at the cars of tomorrow.